All right, guys, part three of the Ask Me Anything Instagram story Q&A type video. Um, actually quite enjoyed these videos, so uh, definitely will be doing stuff like this in the future. I feel like you guys get to know me a bit more and uh, judging by the questions you ask me, you know, I'll get to know you guys a bit more as well. Um, so just a bit of backstory for those of you that are just tuning in now. Um, a few days ago, I put up on my Instagram stories uh, like an Ask Me Anything uh, you know, box where you can ask me questions and I'll answer them. Um, got tons of questions, didn't reply to all of them, so I thought, you know what, let me just do like an expanded, extended version on YouTube. Okay, so the first video was about social media marketing because I own a social media marketing agency here in the Netherlands. The second video was about uh, business and lifestyle design, so just generic business questions and lifestyle design mastery, my course, you know, how to start a wildly profitable online business. I answered all those questions in that video and in this video it's more personal you know other type of questions questions that aren't necessarily anything to do with business and stuff like that okay so without further ado let's get into it question number one where are you from okay so originally uh, my parents are from the UK from Liverpool as you can probably tell from the accent I'm actually from the Netherlands I've seen a few other questions uh, on that list you know where are you born and stuff like that so I'll probably just answer more on this one question here um, I'm born in the Netherlands I'm raised in the Netherlands I have not lived in the UK apart from a six month uh, stint in 2014 I think it was uh, it was for uni you know they gave me the option to do my business placements abroad and I immediately said that I would love to do it in the UK in Liverpool why because I could spend more time with my family get to know my family a bit more and also you know um, I've got a great relationship going with my cousins so I thought that would be a great opportunity to spend you know longer than just a weekend uh, with my cousins with my family stuff like that had a great time but other than that I have not lived in the UK or anything like that and the accent is because you know both my parents are from the UK from Liverpool and um, they taught me English or Scouse before they taught me Dutch because it was advised to uh, teach me English first and then I will learn Dutch in school which I did so my first language was English the only accent I was ever exposed to was Scouse you know also at my family and going to Liverpool uh, to see my family you know Scouse was like the only type of English that I used to uh, hear and get and stuff like that so I slowly picked up the accent myself um, and you know learned Dutch in school so uh, that's a bit of backstory to me of me um, I'm Dutch got a Dutch passport had the English passport for a while switched over to a Dutch passport because it was just easy easier in terms of paperwork in the Netherlands um, other than that yeah been living in the Netherlands ever since there was a random one do you prefer blue or black pens very random question but I actually like it uh, blue always blue I don't like black pens don't use black pens uh, I've actually got loads of those little blue uh, what do they call like the ink cartridges and if, if, if the pen looks nice and it's black I will literally take the black cartridge out put the blue one in it and then you know write with blue always write with blue never really prefer never preferred black never really use black I don't know I think because in the Netherlands even with when you uh, like in school when you write tests it always has to be in blue so I'm just used to it and black for me now is just weird where are you born or the answer to that Horn the Netherlands a uh, small town close to Amsterdam about what is it 30 minutes away Are you single? No. Been in a relationship since 2015. Met my girlfriend in Valencia. Uh, turns out that we both went to the same uni and she lives in Amsterdam. Uh, we actually didn't speak that much in Valencia but stayed in touch after that and we've been together ever since. Um, are you English? So officially yeah but I live in the Netherlands. Got a Dutch passport, Dutch nationality but I do consider myself English. What football club do you support? Liverpool Football Club, why? Just cause my whole family supports Liverpool, apart from a few bitter Evertonians. Um, yeah, supported Liverpool all my life, really. I think the very first season that I started watching them was um, 2003, 2004. Before that, I was a bit too young to understand what was going on. 
uh, very first memory of Liverpool was winning the treble in 2001. That's like the very first thing I can remember. Um, again, didn't really follow because I, I was a bit too young, was quite late to the, to the football party, wasn't really interested in it until I was like seven or eight years old. Um, then 2004, Rafa Benitez took over, we won the Champions League, blah, 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 and the rest of history been following them ever since. Um, I am like a diehard supporter, I will try and get to a match at least once a year, you know, even though I am in the Netherlands, I will try and get over, you know, to, to be able to see them live, watch every single game, uh, listen to podcasts every single day, you know, I always try and be as up to date as possible with Liverpool uh, Football Club and yeah, just absolutely adore them as a club. Uh, well, pizza Hawaii or pizza without pineapple, pizza Hawaii like them both you know um, uh, there's this big hatred towards pizza with pineapple on it um, i honestly just enjoy it i like it it's like a sweet taste on uh, savory pizza i like it but you know if for some reason they have not got pizza with pineapple then you know i'll just go for any other pizza salami i like salami as well are you an influencer um, not in tra the traditional sense. I don't like the word influencer. When I think of an influencer, I think of someone with a couple thousand followers that gets a sponsorship that they of a product that they have never used prior to that, and then they start promoting it. Um, not to hate on all the influencers, you know, there's a lot of people out there with big accounts that just promote the products that they have been using for ages. Um, but I don't know. I'm not very big on influencer marketing. Um, affiliate marketing and stuff like that i'm not really i uh, don't really do that my social media accounts mostly just show me what i'm doing documenting the journey of building my own business online there's a few companies that i do work with like my protein uh, but i've i've always used my protein you know it's not that i've started using them since they started to sponsor me you know i've worked with them for a while and um, almost all my business placements in the uk uh, my thesis slash dissertation you know, for my uni with them as well so i've always been in contact with them great guys you know um they later like i was using their products for a while then they actually you know asked me you know do you want to start working together you know maybe in some commission on the side and that turned into like a, a sponsorship so they send me products every single month i show the products that i would have bought anyway on my instagram story just to help them you know promote them further but other than that i don't really do any type of influencer marketing and i don't consider myself an influencer Best book you've ever read? Uh, there's so many books. I've, I love reading, like I really do love reading. And um, in terms of business, there's a few books that stand out. Like the first book that springs to mind is The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Absolutely love the book. It really did open my eyes to virtual assistants, automating and outsourcing your business. Um, other than that, Dot com Secrets and Expert Secrets, both by Russell Brunson, about online marketing, about the whole online world, you know, how to build a sales funnel, how to create a value ladder, you know, with products that people can buy and stuff like that. Absolutely love those books as well. The Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman is a book, and basically, it's just a whole master's in business administration compressed into what is it like 400 pages. And it was actually that book that um made me decide not to go for a master's but um you know to actually pursue entrepreneurship and start an online business why because i felt like that book gave me the knowledge that i would um otherwise have paid what is it like four or five thousand euros for to you know get that master's degree and i was always going to go into like entrepreneurship in some way shape or form so i didn't really need like the diploma to you know to prove to you know to who that i'm uh, going to do entrepreneurship because you know, I am the business owner, you know, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, not hire myself because I haven't got the, the diploma or the certificates or anything like that. So, uh, you know, without rambling on too much, read the book, decided not to do, uh, not to go for the masters and to pursue entrepreneurship. And the last question, best film you have ever seen? Um, it's got to be Shawshank Redemption, surely. That is, hands down, it's it's a film that no matter what time it is, no matter what mood I'm in, if you put that film on, I will watch it all the way through. Absolutely love that film to bits. If you have not seen Shawshank Redemption yet, then 
like the video, subscribe to the channel, pause the rest of the video and just, you know, watch it. I think it's, it's on Netflix, um, depending on what, you know, what country you're in. Uh, but definitely just watch that film because it is one of the greatest films ever made. Mine has gone absolutely blank, but Stand By Me is another film that just constantly uh, comes to mind. So I'll just add that for number two. And I'll probably add it in the comments if I can think of an even better one. But yeah, Short Round Redemption is definitely the best film I've ever seen. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini series. If you've got any more questions um, that I haven't answered, uh, you know, just and ask me them in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel for more. Like the video if you got some out of it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.